Welcome back, everybody. It's safe to say that Los Angeles is not kings of the road. L.A. just won 8-2 and two in their last 11 away from home as they took the ice at Toronto. There is increasing speculation that the Kings will deal Wayne Gretzky before the March 20th trading deadline, and Toronto is one place Gretzky would want to go. He grew up near Toronto. And speaking of Gretzky's father, Walter Screen Riot. Checking it out. First period, 149 gone. Bad clear by Felix Potvin. Kevin Todd beats Christick. And Christick has got a goal. one nothing L.A. Three minutes later now. Mike Craig shoots. Big rebound, Bill Berg back for the broken leg. The floater beats the foe. And he's got it won. Four and a half minutes later, Gretzky to Steve Finn. Finn's second goal on the year, and L.A. goes up by the score of 2-1. to one. Three minutes later now, watch this spectacular effort by Mike Gartner. Going to the All-Star game, and watch this. The boys, one play in the neutral zone. Gets by Tony Granato, comes across, shooting, 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 scoring. Great goal. Tied at two now. Four minutes later, Gary Chuchuk, big hit on Zettler, puck in front, Lacroix, going to score on the rebound, his 10th on the year, and it's 3-2 Kings after one period. Start of the second now, the Kings have to deal with the fans behind their bench, they got a long hair, he's a haircut. Please power play, off the dump in, fancy passing, Benoit Hogue to Warner, uh, and this is going to be a goal, his fourth on the year for Warner, game tied at three goals apiece. Then look at this, Hi Toby, stop the presses, Ty Duffy on a breakaway, what do you think? Uh, Got to work on that stick handling. Then Matt Sundin springs home. His shot, Sundin on the rebound. A goal. Four three leaps after two. To the third period, here comes Gartner again. Defoe makes a save, then he stops Gilmore and Dave Ellett. Triple one wide. That's a triple one wide. Still four three, LA pressing. John Slaney fires, gets hammered by Domi. Hotton makes a save. Watch it again, Domi. Slaney never sees him coming. Ouch. Then it's Doug Gilmore and Dave Anderchuk. Can you see the puck? Uh, well, can you see the puck? That's the question. The pro can't see the puck. That makes it 5-3, and Toronto goes on to win by the score of 5-4. For Anderchuk, just his 11th goal of the year. Two assists for Murphy, Larry Murphy, who didn't make the All-Star team, but is again having a fine year. Murphy, by the way, 15 points now, shy of the 1,000-point career mark. After the whistle. Toronto is playing awfully well against the Western Conference. A goal and an assist for Sandin. Kevin Todd has a career-high eight-game point streak. And Gretzky with an assist now has 13 goals and 50 assists this season, having an awfully good year. Elsewhere's news, Detroit's Slava Fetisov nailed Winnipeg's Dallas break on Monday. He gets suspended for two games, also find a maximum $1,000. So, no Fetisov as Detroit played Dallas for the third time in 10 games. The coaching debut for Dallas is Ken Hitchcock, who was the coach of Dallas's IHL team the last two-plus years, the Michigan K-Wings. He got the Stars job Tuesday when Bob Ganey decided to just be the team's general manager. Hitchcock knows about discipline. It wasn't long ago he weighed 400 pounds. A shot of Hitchcock in 1990. Weighed over 400. Now he weighs just a little over 200 pounds. First period, Keith Primo, Spears, Sherlock, five-minute major. On that power play, wing shorthanded. Tim Taylor all alone. Wakalak in there for the injured inning. Whoa! Watch this great save by Darcy Wakalak. Same power play, more Detroit. Two on none. Kozlov's backhand, no, stops by Wakala. Late first, now wings on the power play, Fedorov cranks up, last of the point. Cicerelli, nice deflection there in front. One nothing in favor of Detroit. Second period, Madano, he gave it away. Taylor skates in, eight. He's got a goal, two nothing Detroit. Just one minute later now, Darren McCarty skates in, and listen, oh, he flanked the post. Wings next trip down the ice. Kozlov gets a, from Wakaluk. That's a facial. Penalty was called against Wakaluk. Third period, nearly Detroit. Lariana to Kozlov. He's got a goal. 3-0 Detroit. Bad night all around for Dallas. Todd Harvey tries to check and then ends up checking himself. That's tough to do. Late in the game, things get a little bit diced. Crimson and sucker punches Churla with a blow to the head. Right there. Then Churla tries to get at Crimson. Grimson in the penalty box. Trilla tries to go after him. Trilla gets a game of misconduct, not Grimson. Fans in Dallas don't like that at all. They throw debris on the ice. Oh, it's bad stuff. Final score, what was it? Four? Nothing. Right. Detroit wins it. Four? Nothing. Chris Osgood. They're on the road. They haven't won on the road. You guys were up 2 nothing in the game, right? Am I wrong, or were you guys not saying, hey, listen, we want to win this game. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah, guaranteed. We, uh, 
that's what we want to do is win as many games as possible this last part of the year. You know, uh, we went out there and gave it all, and they came back hard and halfway through the second and third period and played well, but we just uh, we held on, you know, and, and came through in the end. Sandy, take us through the game-winning goal, uh, how you got yourself positioned because you were where you needed to be. Yeah, Cruiser had, went uh, went in the corner to get the puck and he passed it out front to me, and I just uh, saw all up, upstairs wide open, so I went up with it. Sandy, while we are watching this, you got to tell us about the potential to play Jim Thorpe. What is that all about? Uh, it's, uh, it's a story of his his life and what he's done, what he did with his life. and. And uh, they came to me and asked me if I wanted to give it a try. And I said, hey, I'm not going to pass up this opportunity. It could be, a, could be a good one for after hockey. So I said, uh, sure, let's give it a try. Delighted. Hey, congratulations and good luck on your movie, movie future, huh? Yeah, thank you. Sandy McCarthy had the game-winning goal in overtime for the Calgary Flames, who have defeated the Hartford Whalers 3-2. Bill? All right, guys, thanks a lot. You know, it's been quite a week for Al Morgani in Connecticut Sunday. Morgani couldn't get home until Tuesday because of the blizzard. Luckily, we got Al to shoot his in the corner segment on Sunday. You know, if we had waited, Al's spot in the corner, like everything else in the Northeast, would have been covered up with snow. Now, if this was last season, we'd be coming up to the end of the year. Remember the 48-game season? But since we've got a full season of hockey this year, we're looking at the halfway point. Virtually every team reached that 41-game mark, and it's been a pretty amazing first half. Plenty of highlights. Look at some MVP, Rookie of the Year candidate, Norris Trophy, best goalie, things like that. Let's get right into it. Start with the young guys. Rookie of the Year coming into this year. Everybody thought Saku Koivu, that funny name from Montreal, he was going to have a lock on it. Doesn't look that way. Right now, my choice? plays right there in Chicago. A couple of more goals the other night. Eric Daza, yeah, he benefited from playing a little bit at the end of last year. Got 21 goals now. Okay, go to the big one right from the MVP. That's easy. Mario Lemieux, right? Pittsburgh, just about unbeatable when he's in the lineup. Got a power play that cranks along at about 40% with him in the lineup. Now, if you want kind of a dark horse candidate, and a lot of people say I'm a little bit loony for this, but I look out in Vancouver, Bure gone for the year, and guess who's on a pace for 60 goals, already has three hat tricks. That's right, Alexander McGillney. He's quietly doing a terrific job in Vancouver. All right, let's take a look at the goaltenders over the first half. A lot of great performances. Grant Fuhrer, the absolute surprise there in St. Louis. Van Beesburg, great in Florida. Jeff Hackett, the surprise guy in Chicago. But you know what? The top job of the first half, that'll be right in New York, Mike Richter. This guy has led the Rangers to nothing but wins. Oh, he's out with that groin pull now, and it's a good thing they've got Glenn Healy backing him up. Richter does nothing but win for the Rangers. Okay, just a couple of more. Norris Trophy for the best defenseman of the first half. He's my favorite, Chris Chelios. Just keeps banging people, playing great. to go with Chelios. I wanted him last year. I certainly wanted him the first half of this year. Coach of the year, I have to admit, Barry Melrose talked me into this. You know who's the number one guy? Right in Buffalo, Ted Nolan. They took away all the firepower. LaFontaine now with injury. Pasek now with injury. They're staying in the playoff race. Ted Nolan, he's the leader. Coach of the year. In the corner, for the deuce, I'm Al Morgani. All right, Al, thanks a lot. This reminder, quite a game here. St. Louis and Philadelphia right here on ESPN2. Thursday night, all the activity begins, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. What the hell you do? Look at the ball. Hey, Penny, what do they call these shoes anyway? Air Penny. Hmm. So who you guys playing tonight anyway? Minnesota. Oh, Los Lobos. I guess you're going for the big numbers tonight, huh? Now I want you to work them inside, work them outside. I'm sensing triple double here. Now pin it, pin it, pin it. I want you to say hello to my man Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett? Yeah, 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 Garnett. We went to high school together. Tell him little Penny from the science club says hello. Can you do that for a brother? He shocked you as the lawnmower man. I am God here. Now he's back. I have a billion calls to make. And more terrifying than ever. He can destroy our world. He figures we'll have to turn to him as the new messiah in cyberspace. In three days, I'll be in every system in the world. You've got to stop Joe before it's too late. This universe is mine. Lawnmower Man 2, Beyond Cyberspace. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday. In the ACC, you've got to bring it every night. In this conference showdown, the fast-starting Tigers will have to take it to the Tar Heels in Chapel Hill. Clemson in North Carolina, Sunday at 1, NCAA Hoops on ESPN2. Colorado first career game, first NHL goal. 
Colorado and Florida skate to a 4-4 tie. Number two star, Gary Roberts of Calgary. First game in almost a year. The first game back after the two neck operations, he scored. Flames, three two winners over Hartford overtime. Number one star, Mark Messier of the Rangers. Two goals, two assists, playing with a bad ankle. Rangers beat the Sharks 7-4. And we're on.